to notice is we're going to learn today how to code four different buttons. And what we're going to do with these buttons is we're going to make them do four different things. Uh, the most we're going to do is we're going to make them play music, which comes with the file. I'm going to show you how to find it in a second. We're also going to change the background color of the form. We're going to print the form, and then we're going to make the program exit, which is really easy. So to find the music files, you're going to find them this way in the program tomorrow. If you go over to the Solution Explorer, there's going to be a button that when you put your mouse over it, it's going to bring up the little tag that says Show All Files. And that is what you want to click on so you can see everything. Your music is always going to be stored in the bin and then the debug folder. So here I have one of the songs you're going to use tomorrow, Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas. And this way we are always able to locate the music file without an issue. If we do place it somewhere else, uh, it's not that we couldn't get to it, but it would be a lot more complicated. And for any audio file we want to use in creating a program, we want to make them a WAV file. It's a type of music file that Visual Studio works very easily with. MP3s can get a little bit more complicated, which is why we want to avoid them initially. Then all we need to do to make this button, the play music button, play the song, is simply program it. So for right now, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply double click on the play music button. And we should just see, actually when you do that for the first time, all you should really see is just this. Don't worry about these words private sub, and don't worry so much about the end sub. Notice how this button I did forget to name, so it's just right now named button 1. When you name your buttons, the name of the button should be there. All we're going to do for this is we're going to type in a series of commands that the computer will recognize and find that file. So it goes, I hit the tab key to move it in, my, it's going to search meaning local, mine means local, dot, we're going to choose computer. So we're looking in our computer. What are we looking for? We're looking for audio. What do we want to do with the audio? We want to play. And then we create a parenthesis set. So once it figures out, it's going to search my computer. So it's searching locally. We're looking for audio. And when we find it, we want to play it. Now we just got to find the name of the song, which, as we know, is Boom Boom Pal. But we have to type it in with quotation marks because it's literally finding the file literally named boomboompow.wav.wave. If we do not use the quotation marks, that means it is looking for an object or variable named boomboompow.wave, which doesn't exist. We're looking for a physical file. Notice how right now it has a blue line underneath of it. If there is a blue line, that means there is an error somewhere, and you need to correct it. So when I did not have quotation marks around boom, boom, pow, you notice two things. One, it's black text, and two, it is erring. Now it's narrowed the error down to this, and it says boom, boom, pow is not declared. So it's looking for a variable called boom, boom, pow. It's not the case. We're looking just for the file. Now the blue line goes away. On your Visual Studio program, you will see a green arrow that means start. Go ahead and hit that. It says there were errors. Yes, let's figure out where there were errors. We'll come right back to that here in a second. Okay, so what happened there was it will happen from time to time where the computer will lose the exe file that is building in the background. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. Just know that we had to, I had to go back and recreate real quick, which you may have to do from time to time for project. So once this happens, I should be able to play it. It may stop the recording. Well, it works okay. And I play the button. Gotta get dip. And there's your audio.
And that's how you code audio buttons all the time. The only thing you change from one part to the other is the name of the file. That is the only thing you change in this line of code.